Yeah! Standing outside my house. We're in Belfast this morning and we're going to get a black cab and take a tour around the city in a black cab. Apparently it's just like an amazing thing to do. I don't know why, but those black cabs look awesome. I don't know what we're going to look at, what we're going to do, what we're going to see, where we're going to go, anything like that, of course. Han, do you know where we're going or what we're seeing or doing? No, I don't, I don't really know what this is. Owen, do you know what we're, what we're going to see or do? Murals, big paintings on the wall. Alright, so we're going to see paintings. We're going to take a black cab and see some paintings. Apparently it's really, really good fun. So we'll see. We to. Oh, 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 don't mess around. I'm going to get in trouble. Oh, I'm actually really excited for this. Look, here it is. Here it is. Oh, this is roomy. It's like a limo. <laughs> Oh. Ones actually going I, on these cabs. I like, know they they're were the coolest thing seen them in England. Yeah, eh? The first peace wall that was built was built between these two areas, but then we continued to build them for the next 35 years. Almost 90% of the people who live here have never crossed over to here. They've never set foot in the other side. People don't cross over, not because it's dangerous, but because it was dangerous. You see the soldier with a gun? Yeah. Well, you notice he's not white. Yeah, well, soldiers, 97% of us here are white or Caucasian. The last was 94. And the last one done six and a half million pounds of the damage. Shankill Road is Northern Ireland's largest Protestant community. So people that live here, there's nobody called Owen that's here. Is it spelled E E O I N or O W E N? King of England becomes Catholic. He was called James Stewart, and becoming Catholic wasn't a smart career choice. Huh? So Billy comes across and defeats King James in the Battle of Battle of the Boy. The celebration of it is the Protestant version of St Patrick's Day, July 12th. Starts with a series of little bonfires. You like bonfires? Mm -hmm. Holy wow. shit. <laughs> That's in the Middle East. So it's literally in the middle of the neighborhood. Oh middle. my the god. Army. UDA, UFF, they're normal men and women like ourselves who set up defense committees as a means of protecting our neighborhoods. People were shit scared. First parts of the concrete was built between 1969 and 1971. That right there is from a petrol bomb. That was throwing from there. It was nuts. Was Gonna ride on the peace wall, Han. We gotta make peace between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. What are you gonna write? Uh, I'll probably just write world, mate. Like and subscribe. This is absolutely crazy. Especially coming from coming from little old New Zealand. As I was gonna say, this is gonna be hard to turn into a video because there's so much to take in. Yeah. Well, it's just crazy coming from New Zealand where we don't have any problems. We're all like peace, love, and harmony. We don't have any neighboring countries or anyone that's trying to like blow us up. So, do my little piece of my little bit of peace. I can't remember how it goes. <laughs> I was gonna do the I was gonna do the Mercedes sign. You know how the Mercedes one goes like right the way through, and I was like, oh shit, better, better do it from a peace sign. You know what? You need a pee. You need a pee. You write that on the wall. <laughs> Breaking the law. <laughs> this is a big wall. <laughs> this yeah. is a big wall. <laughs> it's funny, we've driven around the corner and now I feel like I'm in Ireland. Here, 66 to 2004. Now, for me, the most horrific death on the plaque is this young woman, Philomena Hannah. Philomena is 26 years old. She's a pharmacist, which means she's medical. Medical staff are supposed to be able to cross over back and forth. She did for two months without any problems. Then on a Saturday evening, it changes. She makes her way back through the last set of gates. There's two young loyalists following her. She's unaware of this. So she crosses the road. They're on a motorbike, and that's why she was unaware. So she crossed the road. They crossed the road. She entered the chemist shop. One of them stepped off and then behind her. Before the door had closed, she was shoved to the ground and she was executed. He shot her six times over the top of her put five bullets in her face and then once in her chest to finish her off. The claim was that she was working for the IRA, that she was gathering information, she was gathering intelligence on the movements of Republicans. They'll use bean bags, they'll use like buckshot, multiple hits, yeah, you know, yeah, or small yeah. balls, yeah. but that's what they're using here. Do they still use it? I mean, this one they're using. Well, that was one of the best tours I think I've ever done. What a fucking tour guy, eh? Yeah, that yeah. was fantastic. That was sick. Yeah.